Okay, ex extra, an example for type 1 and type 2 errors and the, the implications. So <laughs> let's say, um, so faster fast food, the manager of a fast food restaurant um, wants to reduce the proportion of drive through customers who have to wait more than two minutes to receive their food once their order is placed. Based on store records, the proportion of customers who had to wait at least two minutes was 0.63. The proportion of customers who had to wait at least two minutes is 0.63. To reduce this proportion, the manager assigns an additional employee to assist with drive through orders. During the next month, the manager will collect a random sample of drive through times and test the following hypotheses. <clears throat> so H0 is going to be the statement of equality. The proportion is 0.63. Um, if we reject H0, then H sub A is true that the, the uh, proportion is less than 0.63. OK, so describe a type 1 and type 2 error and the consequences. So um, type 1, well, to, to memorize this, remember type 2 is you fail to reject H0. So type 1 is you, you reject H0. So for your type 1 error, you reject H0. That would mean that you, you decide that the true proportion of drive through customers um, that have to wait at least two minutes has been reduced. Because you, if you reject H0, that means you're saying H sub A is true. So you, you're assuming that when it really hasn't. So the consequence would be that you would be paying unnecessarily for another employee. Whereas type 2 error is you, you fail to reject H0 um, when you really should have rejected H0. So that would mean you decide the true proportion has been reduced when it really hasn't. And the consequence is you might get rid of that employee when that employee was actually helping to make service faster. So that would be an example there.